put you there. Hey guys, today I thought I would film a kind of casual, sit down, updated, everyday makeup routine. Wow, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? I'm about to go and meet my sister for lunch, so I thought I would just get ready with you guys quickly. My makeup routine has kind of changed a little bit. I, I'd say I found a few new things that I really like and I've kind of gone back to using a few old things. So I just thought I would show you what I'm using at the moment and just get ready with you. This is my makeup bag and it is absolutely crammed. <laughs> so let's just get started. First thing I do, which I know sounds a little bit weird, is spritz on some of this Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream Miracle Oil. Everyone always says to me, your skin looks really glowy. What are you using? And it's this. If you use too much of it, it can make your skin look shiny and greasy. But if you just put a tiny bit on, it's a, such a lovely base for makeup. So I'm literally just gonna spritz it on. Um, I haven't set up like a mirror or anything, so you're just gonna have to put up with me doing my makeup in this little mirror here. Literally just rub the tiniest amount in like so and that is literally what I use for my base I try to remember to use primers but I'm just rubbish at remembering so I've got a spray that I use afterwards usually for my foundation I am mixing two at the moment my old favorite NARS um, what is this called sheer glow and this is in the shade Mont Blanc which is actually quite pale, too pale for me at the moment, and so I'm mixing it with this Rimmel Match Perfection, which is a more of a recent find for me, I'd say in the past year or so, and it is my absolute favourite foundation over any high-end foundation that I have previously used. So I'm just going to do one pump of that, and then the only thing I hate about this is that there's no pump. I know you can buy a separate pump, but who's organised enough to think about that? literally about the same amount you probably can't see that because you're so far away <laughs> just about a pump each and then i mix them together and i've been really lazy with my foundation recently and i haven't really been using the proper tools to apply i've just been using this i don't even know what that's called like a buffing brush i've just been applying it with that because i am lazy and i'm usually in a rush I just find that this um, combination of foundations gives me such a nice sort of natural glowy sheen to my skin um, and I also find it evens me out really well. I also find it's a really good medium sort of coverage as well but it is buildable. I know it seems weird to mix two foundations together but sometimes it just works you know, you gotta experiment sometimes. Okay, so once I'm happy that that's all kind of been buffed in and it looks as natural as I could possibly get it, I usually end up with half the mixture left on my hands, so I'm just gonna wipe that off. Next, I'm just gonna pop some concealer underneath my eyes because I find them quite dark. I'm using this, I think it's bourgeois. It is very well loved, <laughs> it's rubbed off. Oh, it is bourgeois. It's the Radiance Reveal Concealer and this is in the shade 01 Ivory. This is the best concealer that I have ever used. And I know that that's quite a bold statement and I've used a lot of higher end ones like YSL, Chanel, and I just found this one from Bourjois is the nicest formulation for me. It blends in well with my foundation, it doesn't go cakey, it doesn't sit in my eye creases, it lasts all day. And if you want a little pick-me-up and you don't have much time, just putting a little bit of this under your eyes works really well. It's just a really good, affordable concealer. I've got to say, I'm falling in love with lots of high street makeup at the moment. If anyone's got any recommendations of things that they like from any high street makeup ranges, let me know, because I'd love to find some new affordable gems. Whenever I meet my sister, I'm kind of counting on the fact that she's got a baby, so she'll probably be late too. <laughs> Next up, I do my brows, and at the moment I'm using this Bobbi Brown, um, I don't know what you call these, like brush thingies, eyebrow brush. So I just brush through with that. I hate doing my brows with a passion. I can never get them how I want them to look. I'm just really bad at them. But I do really like this eyebrow pencil it's the brow bar brow definer and i think i talked about it in a favorites video recently um but i just really like it i think it's a good color match for me as well and it's quick and easy which is what you like when you are a parent 
who is still attempting to put a full face of makeup on every day. <laughs> Does anyone else find that they have one eyebrow that always goes much nicer than the other? Because I always find that this eyebrow goes okay and then this one I just hate. Oops. I um, would love to see behind the scenes of some other like YouTubers makeup videos. You know the ones that are filmed like really beautifully? love to see how they do that because I think it is an art to sit in front of the camera and not have a mirror like this and have a mirror but like not look like you're looking into it it's actually really hard I've tried to do it before and it's like I couldn't work out how to do it where it actually looked good right I think that's gonna have to do today because I just haven't got any more time to spend worrying about my eyebrows <laughs> Next up I usually do my eyes and I like to keep it really simple on my eyes, I can never be bothered to put eyeshadow on. Sometimes I put a little bit of eyeliner on, sometimes I don't. More often now than not I don't because I am usually doing things like going to playgroup or going taking Grace into the park and I just feel like there's not really that much point in putting lots of eye makeup on just to go to a kids park. Like, and also I just feel like way more comfortable wearing less now. I don't know if it's an age thing, like because I'm getting older or if it's because I'm a mum now, but I just prefer wearing less makeup now. I'm gonna, I am gonna put a little bit of eyeliner on today just because I'm going for lunch with my sister and I'm child free. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is the same eyeliner that I've been using for years show it to you in a sec. I only like to put a tiny bit on just to define my eye a little bit more and I've been using the L'Oreal Paris Super Liner Perfect Slim. It's like a little felt tip pen kind of thing. It's kind of foolproof. I have found a new mascara love. The Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara and this is my first tube of this but it's kind of running out now and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. This is the best mascara I've ever used and I think I talked about it in my last favourites video so I'll pop a link to that down below if you want to hear a little bit more about it. Again I don't like to go like too crazy, it's dried out so much because I just used it for a flat lay, <laughs> whoops. Normally it wouldn't take so long to put on but I think this one is coming to the end of its life so Next I usually do a little bit of bronzer and I've been using this L'Oreal Cushion de Sol... Sol... Cushion de... I don't know. Glam bronze. <laughs> this is actually running out too. I love this so much. This is actually probably my favourite bronzer. Um, I'd probably go as far as saying of all time, you know. It's definitely running out though. I feel like that's when you know you really love something though because it's like literally just running out, you're scraping to get the, like the end bit out. And I just put a little bit up on my forehead, like so. I'm so sorry that I'm sat so far away. <laughs> I've actually gone back to one of my old favorite highlights and it is the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight Illuminator, Illuminator Visage in the shade 01 Hefty Highlight. And it's basically like a stick highlighter like that so it's super easy this is actually like all what i've got left of this because it's been very well loved it's kind of like this really nice subtle pink sort of shade um it blends really nicely i feel like it goes really well with my whole like glowy natural theme so i've literally just drawn it in all the whoop, dropped the lid i've just drawn it in all of the places that I want to be like more highlighted and I'm just going to blend it in with my fingers because who needs a brush? Next up I just pop a little bit of blush on and I've been using the same one for god knows how long. It's the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge for Lip and Cheeks in Pale Pink and I do really want to kind of um, be a bit more adventurous with my blusher. I've just been using this one for so long now, I've kind of got used to how the colour looks on me and 
whenever I try anything else, I feel like it looks a bit weird. But I do really want to go like more sort of peachy coloured for the spring, I think. So if anyone's got any like good blush recommendations for me, do let me know because I do want to try something else. I tend to like more like cream blushes. Um, again, just because they sort of go better with my kind of um, like glowy natural look, I think. That's pretty much it. I now just fix my makeup with this Pixie Makeup Something Mist. It's rubbed off because as you can see, again, this is very well loved. And this kind of sets your makeup. So if you're like me and you don't use a primer or if you've forgotten to use a primer, then this one's really good because it literally just will set your makeup for the whole day. And it's kind of refreshing too. So I just spritz it on. And it smells nice too, which is a nice added touch. I'll just wait for that to dry. The last thing I like to do is just pop a little bit of lipstick on and I normally go for either a pink or a nude if it's like a mum day and if it's like a date night or an event that we're going to or something, I'll go for like a more kind of um, dark red or a burgundy sort of shade. But I think because I am going to be with my sister's little boy today who is about eight months old, I'm gonna go for a nude because babies like to grab your face and I just feel like nude is safer at lunchtime, isn't it? Because I'm gonna be digging into something. This is actually uh, more on the pink side of nude and it is the Bobbi Brown Ballerina Pink L Nourishing Lip Colour and I've got a couple of these. I actually repurchased this because I used it so much that the whole thing ran out. I just think it's a really nice natural kind of pinky tone. It You can tell you're wearing lipstick but it's like it doesn't matter if it wears off at lunchtime or whatever, like it won't look weird. So I'm just going to pop a bit of this on, no need for a lip liner because it's such a natural colour. And there we have it, that is my finished everyday natural makeup routine, that's generally what I do every single day. Sometimes I'll vary it up a tiny bit with the lipstick or a different highlight or something, but that's my general go-to makeup choices and look. And I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. I'm off to go meet my sister now, so I'll see you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to let me know if you have any high street makeup recommendations for me or anything else that you think I would like based on the products that I've used today because I would like to start branching out a little bit more. I tend to play it very safe with makeup and stick to the same sorts of products that I know that are gonna work for me that I really love, but I do want to kind of experiment a bit more this spring, um, especially br blushes. Let me know if you've got any good kind of peachy toned blushes. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Sorry that I was sat so far away, but I hope you enjoyed watching it anyway, and I will see you guys all very soon. Goodbye. P.S. There are a couple of new prints in the Mag London print store at the moment. My absolute favourite so far, Let Go and Insufferable Hits to Twat. Um, so I'll put a link to those in the description box as well. And yeah, I'm going to say goodbye now <laughs> for like the millionth time. Bye. <laughs>